In this video, we're going to take a look at um, data steps. So we've been using procedure steps to do things like calculate the mean, um, look at uh, univariate statistics and um, regression models and things like that. But what we're going to do now is get into a bit more of the, the, the dirty work with SAS where we can actually, just for now, we're going to look at creating a new data set from an old data set, concatenating two data sets, and merging two data sets. So if we look at my library, uh, and we go into the work library, there's nothing there. Remember the work library is the temporary library that deletes itself after every time you turn off SAS. And if we go into the MAT008 library, there's uh, two data sets that we're very familiar with, JJJ and MMM, as well as other data sets. So first of all, we're going to create uh, a copy of the JJJ data set. Now to do this, we use a data step. And you start off by writing the keyword data. You then use the the, you then say where this this new data set that you're creating is going to go. So I'm going to put in the work file, the work library, and I'm going to call it J. Now if you remember, if you're putting something in the work library, you don't need to specify the work library. In other words, the work library is a default library. Semicolon and uh, next line, and then you write the word set, and here's where you put the old data set. So data followed by what you what, what's new and then set followed by what's old. So if I run that, submit that, and take a look at my work library, there's a data set J there. That's an exact copy of the previous one. Remember if you look at a data set in browser mode, always always close it. It's good practice. So now for concatenation of data sets, if I look at the MAT008 library and I look at my two data sets, JJJ and MMM which are very similar data sets, we see they've more or less all got the same variables here, but just different observations. So we're going to concatenate them. So create one data set with all the variables in there. So to do that, we create data. And I'm going to put this in the MAT008 um, library. And I'm going to call it um, MMMJJJ. And now we simply use the set statement. So set mat008.jjj and mat008.mmm. And finish by a run statement. So I could have called that whatever I wanted. And this will just merge the, the concatenate the two data sets. So I run that. See straight away we've got a new library, mmmjjj. Open that up. And that is the, the same, the, the two data sets one on top of the other. I won't go into this video, but if we had certain variables that didn't exist in one data set or the other, it would simply uh, record them as missing. So SAS handles that perfectly well. Now, we're going to um, merge a data set. So, if you've been looking at these videos since the beginning during the entire course, then actually there's another statement. Um, we have already used the data set when we just created um, a data set from uh, from direct input. So I'm going to create a data set called uh, in the MAT008 library called other data set semicolon and I'm going to direct input so I use the statement input and my first variable is going to be name and that's a string uh, and I'm telling SAS it's going to be a string so I follow by a dollar and then my second variable is going to be weight uh, finish with semicolon, and I use the card statement to say, yep, get ready SAS, the variables are about to be input, and the first one is going to be Billy, and um, he's going to have uh, a weight of, um, I don't know, 75 uh, kg, and Bob, who's going to have a weight of, uh, let's say, 80 kg, finish with a semicolon on the next line, and a run statement. So this is just creating a new data set to, to experiment with in a bit. So if I submit that other data set, let's take a quick look at it. That's more or less what we want. And now I'm going to merge this with first data set, which is another data set that we, we created by with direct input. And you see we got Billy who's 70, uh, weight 75, and we got Billy of age 24, and Bob weight 80 and Bob age 23. So first things first, before we merge these data sets, we need to sort them. So I'm going to create a 
proc sort and I want to sort um, mat008.jjj sorry dot first underscore data underscore set I want to sort it on the name variable and it'll run. So remember we need to close these down, it's good practice to always close these down submit Ah, I have slight error in my sort procedure, so there's a bit of an error there. It's because I need the keyword data. So I run that again. That'll be fine. And then I do that one more time for the other data set. Proc sort data equals mat008 dot other data set by name and run. Note that you don't have to worry about capitalization in SAS, which is very, very handy. Let me run that, and everything's fine. And so now, I'm going to merge these two data sets. So, it's a data step, so I write the word data, and then the name of the data set I'm about to create is so mat008. Dot, and I'm going to call this merged data set. And now instead of the set statement, we use the merge statement merge and so we want mat008 dot first data set to be merged with mat008 dot other data set and now I say on what variable so I want it to be merged on the name variable it's so whatever variable you choose there you have to ensure that you've pre sorted your data sets by that variable so if we run that you see we've got a new data set called merged data set. And if I open that up, that gives us what we expected. So Billy is 24, he's got a weight to 75, and Bob is 23, and he's got a weight of 80. And of course SAS can handle this for much bigger data sets than that. And that's the um, the very, very basic data steps.